No matter who you are or where you live, we all have one thing in common. Junk drums filled with old electronics. Wires, batteries and earphones are what you'd usually find in a junk drawer. All of these things are known as electronic waste or e-waste. Have you ever wondered what happened to the first phone you ever had? There's an 80% chance it's ended up in a landfill, a water body or discarded on a roadside. That's because even though we produce over 50 million tons of e-waste every year, less than 20% is properly recycled. Everybody seems to have a digital footprint in our constant consumption world, which is why e-waste is the fastest growing stream of waste and shows no signs of slowing down. So why aren't we doing anything about it? The junk drawer in my house got me thinking. But as a 14-year-old teenage girl from Hyderabad with no experience in the field, the issue seemed too big for me to tackle alone. So I created a business proposal, roped in my best friend Dia as a co-founder, and mailed out the proposals to whoever I thought could help. That's how eCycle, an e-waste recycling initiative, was born. Dia Loka. Best friend since elementary school, graphic designer, and artist extraordinaire, Dia is the reason eCycle went from a PPT to a full-fledged organization for action. Out of all the cold emails, we got one response from a prominent sustainability company called Recycle. Valued at over $100 million, they agreed to help us by handling the recycling process. They were the missing piece in our idea, and we've never looked back since. With Recycle's guidance, we streamlined our process. We went to schools and campuses, hosted e-waste awareness sessions, and facilitated recycling drives. Despite the odds, we've used our age as a strength and curated a core team of a dozen individuals, reached over a thousand people, dabbled in the art of content creation and environmental journalism, collected half a thousand kilograms of electronic waste, and appeared on the front page of many major publications and important newspapers. And now, we think we're ready for the next phase. With Saira Levinson's mentorship, we've expanded our thinking to inculcate ideas of arts, architecture, and design thinking ideologies at a grassroots level. And now eCycle is evolving into something bigger than a city-wide project. We've overcome a number of hurdles and emerged as a beacon of hope for the next generation of climate action leaders. And we've demonstrated clear success with what we set out to do. And now we're ready to scale. We want to bring on more corporate partners and more sponsorships, opening up chapters internationally in schools and communities. The possibilities are truly endless because not only is eCycle a community building initiative, it also produces tactile results and generates a stream of income. We have had to deny requests to open up chapters in faraway places like Dubai, Australia, and America because we haven't had support. Your support. Invest in our generation and amplify our impact. Thank you.